Today we're going to make buttermilk pecan banana bread. And this is one of our favorite snack breads. And if you have someone in your house who's allergic to nuts, you can simply omit the pecans and you'll have a wonderful banana bread. So the first thing I do is I add the melted butter, followed by three bananas, which I smash slightly with my spoon. I'm using bananas that I froze in the freezer, but you can use ripe fresh bananas from the store as well. Then I add two eggs. Next, we're gonna add some vanilla extract, and then I add the sugar. And keep stirring as you stir it in together. And finally, the buttermilk. And the wet ingredients are ready. The first thing we do for the dry ingredients is I add two cups of flour to a bowl, followed by two teaspoons of baking powder, followed by and one teaspoon of baking soda. And for an extra dose of flavor, I like to add a generous pinch of nutmeg. Then I stir them together, and now they're ready to be folded into the wet ingredients. To fold them in, I just scooch all the flour into the wet ingredients and fold it together. I fold just until the flour is no longer visible, but I don't want to over stir it because that will make the bread very tough. Now, for some extra crunch, I like to add pecans that have been coarsely chopped. The first thing I do is toss them with one teaspoon of flour. This helps suspend them in the batter while they're baking. Then I shake them into the batter and fold them together gently, maybe just once or twice. And there we go. Our batter is all ready to be baked. I've lightly greased a nine by five loaf pan and preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And now I'm just gonna pour in the batter and spread it evenly on top with my spatula. And then we spread it on top evenly with a spatula. All right, now the bread is all ready to bake. This will bake for 50 minutes to one hour in an oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees. Bake it until a cake tester inserted comes out clean or the top springs back lightly when touched. All right, our bread is baked and cooled and it is all ready for Daphne when she comes home from school for her afternoon snack and I might have some tonight after dinner for dessert.